Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing something completely different and basically I'm going to be doing a de decluttering video. I have already started to get rid of some stuff. I have it down here and I would say about 98% of the stuff here I'll be getting rid of and over here is the box that I need to go through, see what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of and etc. So if you want to see that process then just keep on watching. Alrighty, so this is a bit overwhelming. I kind of don't even know where to start. So I'm just going to kind of start in the front bags. So first are some products from the body shop. This is the Youth Gentle Foaming Wash and this is a bouncy eye mask. So I definitely will be keeping these products. And then this is something from the Root of Strength line. And although these products sound really good, I wouldn't say that they're geared towards me and my skin because they are for firming and like anti-aging so yeah i will be getting rid of that and then there are some more products these are from Loract, and um yeah i guess these are for wrinkles sagging and basically anti-aging as well so i know one of them i did want to keep because I, th I think one was like a mask or something but honestly I could get rid of that as well. I know my mom would love products like that. The next, this is from EOS. And although these products sound really good, unfortunately, sometimes I am a little bit more sensitive to certain lip products. So, and I also don't like when lip products have a taste. So I will just pass that along to somebody else. And then this is a product from Olay. And this is a tone perfecting cream. Um, this is going to fade dark spots and even, I guess your skin tone sounds good, but I don't really use that many creams, so get rid of that as well. Then this is an eye mask. This is something that I'm supposed to do a review on, so yeah, I'll be keeping that. Then this is a shaving stick, not shaving stick, wow, <laughs> a razor. Um, I'll keep that. This is an eyeshadow palette. I want to try out some products from Hard Candy, so I'll keep that. And this is a Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette. And I haven't used any Charlotte Tilbury products, but for some reason, this whoops, this palette, the colors wasn't really like speaking to me. Yeah, so that I will be getting rid of that. I've used this, so I'm keeping this for sure. That's just some emery boards, so I'll keep that. This I might pass along to my godson because he's going through puberty and yeah, he's having a lot of breakouts. Then this is an eyeshadow palette. This has some really nice shades in there, so um, I'll keep this in the possibly keeping pile because the thing about it is what I don't like about sometimes with eyeshadow palettes, there might be like two, three or like a little amount of of colors that you would use so I would definitely use those colors but these are really light so it's just like am I gonna keep a whole entire eyeshadow palette if I'm only gonna use like two colors so I'll keep this in the um, maybe pile okay I'm getting down to the bottom so that's awesome then next this is a paint on liquid lip color and the shade looks like that pretty nice should try this out so I will keep that and then this is lip gloss and it's a nice shade but it has shimmers in there so I don't know about this like I will keep this if this is creamy but if this is more of a sticky consistency then I probably will get rid of that so I'll keep that in the maybe pile and then this is uh ooh, liquid lipstick it's a nice shade mm, i'll keep that in the maybe and then these are some brushes so definitely keeping that and then this is a primer i'll keep that guys i'm almost done this first section which is great this is something from sage i'll keep that that's just an oil this is a cherry lip uh, sorry whoa i cannot read this is a cherry ball lip gloss and i was just keeping this to take a picture of this um because i had like a rose gold theme going on for my instagram but i will be getting rid of that after i take a picture and then the brush i'll keep and i'll keep the eyeliner as well 
So this first bag is now completely empty. Moving on to the next one. This is a brush from Sage. And this I'm kind of keeping in the maybe pile because I found that this was extremely rough for dry brushing. So if I find a softer brush, then I will get rid of this one. So this will just go in the maybe pile. Then this is a selfie stick. I'll be keeping that. Then this is an eyebrow pencil and it's in deep brown. I don't know if that's gonna match me. So I'll just have to put that close to my eyebrow. Should I do that now? Mm. Yeah, I don't think, I think that may be too, actually I don't even know. I'll just keep that in the maybe and figure that out after. Then this is a mascara. I'll be getting rid of that because I don't really use mascara, only sometimes, but it's kind of rare, only because my eyelashes like bang my glasses and that's kind of annoying sometimes. Um, brushes, keeping that. This is a shower gel, I'll keep that. All right, so I'm about halfway through that front section. So these are from the body shop. This is a body lotion, this is a shower cream and a shower gel, so I'll definitely be keeping those then these are some lipsticks from Estee Lauder um, let's see these shades there's that one it's a pretty nice shade and there's this one okay that's definitely too light so I will get rid of the light one and keep the darker one another shower gel that this is a hand cream keeping that then this is a what is this this is a cream but i'll actually be doing a giveaway with this brand so stay tuned for that so it's from the better skin company so with this one i will keep this one in my maybe pile because i think i'm going to be getting another one of these so i'll be giving this away basically so there's that, and then this is, ooh, this is a nice shade, but I honestly don't think that I would wear that. So I'll just get rid of that. And then this is a nourishing cuticle oil. I'll keep that because I don't have anything like that, I don't think. Well, actually, I do have something like that, so, hmm. Maybe I'll get rid of this one because I do have one from Selling Hanson, so get rid of that. Um, this is a primer, but I did have another one from this brand already, so I'll get rid of that. And this is a coconut lip butter. I always did want to try this out, so I'll try this out, but if it does have a little bit of a taste, then I'll just pass that along to my niece. Then this is a lipstick from Lipstick Queen. Let's see the shade of it. Ooh, love the packaging. Hmm, this is a nice nude. So, yeah, definitely keeping that. I, honestly, I didn't even know I had this in there. Like, that is crazy. This is a beautiful color. Okay, almost done. Another shower gel, keeping that. And then this is like a glittery... I don't know if it's a loose pigment or an eyeshadow or what exactly it is, but it's really pretty, so keep that. And last but not least is a concealer brush. I'll keep that. And then this is a vel velvet gel pen eyeliner. Hmm. And this is black, so I'll keep that as well. Alrighty, so this bag is done as well. The next, this is skincare. It's a mask from Rocky Mountain Soap, so I'll be keeping that. And then this is a soap as well. Smells really good, keeping that. Then this is a Nourish and Define Brow Pomade, but this is in Ashy, which is basically like a blonde, so yeah, that's not gonna work out for me. Then some brushes, definitely keeping that. Then this is a Day Cream from Rocky Mountain Soap, I'll get rid of that. Okay, and I'm sorry guys, if I'm saying that a lot, Sorry, but okay. And next, this is from Olay, and this is hmm, Miracle Boost Concentrate. So, this looks like just like a serum or a cream, but like I mentioned, I don't really use creams, so this can be given away. This is 
facial cupping i want to try this out and see how this works out i've heard good things about it so i'll try that out and then this oh my gosh this is just packaging like why do i have this this is just gonna go in the garbage <laughs> and then and then this is a mask i'm currently using this and then this is a hair mask i have a review on that so i need to finish that up then this is some products from ogx this is a dry shampoo and a tossel spray and I don't use either of these type of products, so I'll be giving that to my past manager. I know she'll like to try those out. And then this is something from Biotherm, and this is a cooling gel, so I'll get rid of that as well. Because like I mentioned, don't really use that many creams and, and serums, only because my skin is on the oily side. This has nothing in this, so yeah, that probably needs to go. But then again, this will make a good box for like putting a gift in so i'll just keep that in my basement doesn't need to be up here okay so this is some of those little hair ties that are not supposed to leave a line in your hair but because of the colors that won't work out for me so i'll just pass this along to my niece this is a facial cleansing set definitely want to try this out see how this works out and this is a brush set and i have used a few of the brushes already so these are definitely going to be staying and then this is a mini strainer from conair and obviously i don't strain my hair but this is just something good to have in the future if i'm ever traveling and i want something small and compact and that will work out really great and then this is a hmm, this is a lotion this is from garnier so yeah i'll just pass that along to someone else then these are some hair products so all these hair products will be staying next is a brush is from tangle teaser this one is good for thick and curly hair and i was thinking to do a review on that so i'll definitely be trying that out and then this is some products from Invisibobble. And I know some of these colors aren't going to work out for me. So let me see. So the blonde ones will be going. And I'll keep the dark brown. And this one, this is kind of like a clear, but I'm kind of seeing silver in there. So I'll probably get rid of that one and then just keep the one that matches my hair the best. Last thing inside this bag is a headband and I'll just pass that along to my niece and that's all the products there. And then next are two hair products, one from Shea Moisture and one is from Garnier Fructis. So I'll be keeping both of those. And then this is a beauty blender kind of sponge. Well, it's actually not from beauty blender, but um, yeah, I don't know. This is not that soft. So I'll have to try this out a little bit more and decide if I want to keep that or just give that to my sister. And then next is another lip. Um, it's a lip butter from the body shop. Hmm. So probably just get rid of that since I said I'd keep the coconut one. And then another body cream, not body cream, shower gel keep that as well and then this is a face mask so want to try that out and then this is a gel lotion so if this is not the scent that I care for mm, smells good but mm, probably just give that away as well and almost done here my cellar water love this stuff i haven't tried the one for oily sensitive skin so i'm really interested to try this one out i have used the one with the pink bottle and it works amazing i do have a review on that on my channel and then this is a tip to toe by trim and it's just a nail kit so definitely can always use that and then this is a gentle eye makeup remover from the body shop want to try that out This is a compact mirror and it's from Sephora. And although I love the packaging, this is really heavy. So I don't know, having that in my purse, I don't know if that's gonna work out that great for me because I do like to travel light. So probably just give that to somebody. And then this is an eyeliner. And I honestly like using liquid eyeliner better. So I'll just, Put that in my giveaway pile and 
this is let me see um hmm it's in french so i have no idea okay it's a micellar milk a double cleanser micellar milk that sounds good i'll try that out and this is a liquid i think it's matte yeah it's a matte lip lip color sorry guys and i like that shade i'll give that a go and then this is another one of those kind of sponges so whatever one is the softest i'll keep it okay this one's a little bit harder so i'll get rid of that one And I just have some PR packaging, so that needs to go in the recycling. And then this is a moisture balm mask, and this is super hydrating. And honestly, my skin is really hydrated and oily, so this probably wouldn't be the best mask for me. So I'll just give that to someone who will work out better for them. And in here, I don't even think there's anything in here. Oh yeah, there is. Okay, USB, so this needs to go. And last there are two products from Stella and Grace. I have a review of this on my channel. This is the foot peel mask. I tried it on one of my feet and I have one more left. And honestly, this is such a cool thing to try out. I would definitely recommend using this because it just did a great job for just removing my dead skin so yeah i have the other side for that and then this is an anti-wrinkle energizing facial mask and this did work good for me but i don't know I, I really can't see myself using something like this i prefer just using regular masks instead of like sheet masks and stuff like that like sheet masks are good i like that they're more on the lighter weight side but this one is thicker so I don't know, probably will get rid of that. And that is everything inside of the box. So I will be keeping this box, but there's gonna be a lot less products inside here. So I'm really happy I was able to go through everything and I'm just going to put back in the items that I decided to keep. side of here looks now it's a million times better than how it was it's still not exactly how i would like it but honestly like i mentioned it looks a lot better so some of the makeup and beauty products i just ended up putting them in this drawer here it's like three drawers that i have at the bottom i have um skincare products and the middle i have hair products and then up here is just some makeup so i put some of the items inside here and then in all these are all the products that i'll be getting rid of and honestly this just felt so good to finally free up some space and basically get to rehome some of these items to people who will get to get better use out of it than i would so thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you enjoyed this type of video and i'll talk to you guys later bye